Well, welcome back to Prime News at 7. We've been talking weather, it seemed like, uh, at the kitchen table, dinner table for the last couple of three days, seeing when is that big snow going to come? Well, for the next couple of days, we're going to be talking to uh, some of our loyal weather watchers around the Tennessee Valley. And you know, as uh, well as I do, we have a lot of different weather coming around uh, the uh, area, and we've had different climates from one uh, elevations to another. And uh, I'd like to introduce a couple of our storm watchers. First, right here to my immediate right, uh, Justin Heisel. He is from Athens, been with us a long time. And Kevin Walls from New Home on top of Sand Mountain, just outside mm -hmm. of the Trenton area. And uh, y'all have been with us for uh, several years. And uh, thanks a lot for your service, first of all. But I wanted to ask you, first of all, Justin, what, what makes the weather in Athens a little bit different to you from maybe Chattanooga? A little more further north. And it's good 10 degrees difference between Chattanooga and Athens. You just being in that little outlying type right. area and right. obviously Kevin you're in the mountains so mm -hmm. just this last storm system was a little bit different to you wasn't it? Yeah I got a little bit of just a dusting of snow up there where they didn't get it down here. Yeah and two or three degrees just makes a huge difference and you'll have that encounter from time to time all winter long but I guess I want to ask each of you and first I'll ask Kevin what uh, what gave you the interest of being a weather watcher or have you always had an interest all your life? I've always loved weather. Uh, my mom would have to drag me in out of thunderstorms when I was little because I'd be out there you know, looking at the clouds and lightning. I just loved it. And you're heavily involved in the Boy Scouts from time to time, so that's really important too. Yeah. So uh, uh, with the Boy Scouts, almost a lot of things that we do outside, you really have to have a knowledge of the weather. And uh, Justin, how did you get that interest or was it from here on up? Like Kevin, I've always been interested in science, you know, and weather is a big part of science. And I've just um, been interested in the weather because, you, like you said, the weather is determines your biggest part, what you plan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to plan ahead. Yeah. And yeah. the weather makes a factor in that. Yeah, and uh, once again, this is going to be a winter for us to watch. And so far, we haven't had that big snow. Uh, Y'all have any uh, prognostications for the next couple of three weeks? Or you have any ideas, seeing anything that's been happening in your neck of the woods that may tell you you may see something or may not? Like you said earlier, the patterns from the south that come up, that's where we get our snows. Mm -hmm. And the temperatures are a big factor in it. And Kevin, uh, along where you are, you run the risk of seeing those ice storms. Right. Oh. Um, the one advantage, though, that I have is I get a little bit of the inversions because it's sitting right on the edge. Yeah. But you go 500 feet from me, and the trees will be down, you know, more often than they will down here. Just goes to show you the weather can be uh, different within uh, just a couple of miles. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kevin and Justin, hey, thank you for joining you. us once again. We're going to be uh, profiling our weather watchers the next couple of days, and stay tuned. We're going to have that big cookie winner. So Prime News at seven will kick off with something good to eat when we get back.